Microsoft final release and show us a preview of Windows 11 with its all new design. And of course, all the questions are start popping up. Everyone is asking, can I run Windows 11 on my PC? And if I can, how can I do this? And today guys, I will show you how to... Let's start! Of course guys, we need first to check if our PC can run Windows 11 on it or can't. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's jump in! To check our PC can run Windows 11, of course we need to open our browser and go to the following link address and guys remember all the links and everything I talk will be in video description so always check first there. And here is the app, Windows PC Help Check Setup. Just select download and save it on your desktop. Now from here just start this application and install it. Accept everything and install. That's it, mark open Windows PC Help Check and select finish. It's ready, of course this application has a lots of things to do with it, but we are here for the first step, introducing Windows 11. Let's check if this PC meets the system requirements, if it does you can get the free upgrade when it's available. Alright, select check now and almost immediately a message pop up, this PC can run Windows 11. Great news, this PC meets all the system requirements for Windows 11 and it's free. We'll let you know when it's ready to install, but we don't have a patient to wait Microsoft, so today we'll force install Windows 11. Learn more, of course browser will be open and here with the green check this PC will run Windows 11. Your PC meets the minimum hardware requirement and is eligible for a free upgrade when it rolls. So let's check the minimum system requirements. 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor or system on a chip SOC. Guys, Windows 11 is only 64 bits. 32 bits is in the past. Memory 4 gigs of RAM, storage 64 gigs or larger storage device, system firmware UEFI, secure boot capable, TPM Trusted Platform Module version 2, graphics card DirectX 12, compatible graphics and display 9 inch with HD resolution minimum 720p. That's it. And we meet all the requirements. These are the minimum requirements. Probably most of PCs these days will cover all these requirements, but your PC still can't be updated to Windows 11. And that guys is probably of this TPM, Trusted Platform Module TPM. Probably all the CPUs which were released after 2018 has that built in it. But for some reason, some motherboards on the PCs just not enable this feature by default. Don't know why. Here on that list, you can see Windows 11 supported AMD processors, supported Intel processors, and supported Qualcomm processors. Let's tap on Intel and you can check if your CPU is here or not. You can see that list is very big and if you receive the message that your PC can't run Windows 11, first check here. And if your CPU is here or if you are using AMD CPU, you can see all of them are here, all the Ryzen's and if your CPU is here guys, you can run Windows 11 but you need to enable that TPM 2.0. If you want to understand how to do this, just open a Google and right here enable TPM 2.0. How to enable TPM in BIOS and 
there is also plenty of videos in YouTube and you can check all of them how to enable that TPM 2.0 on your BIOS and after you are ready you can go again and check your system requirements and probably your PC will meet them let's close our browser let's close that up all right when we are ready here we just need to go in settings or just search for settings here it is open it and down here on the bottom you need to select update and security tap it and you are up to date so my pc is running windows 10 and we are up to date what we need to do here is on the left panel you need to select windows insider program tap it wait it of course pick your insider settings you need to pick your insider settings and if you are not already a windows insider here down select become a windows insider tap it website will be opened and you need to register and apply for windows insider when you are ready you will receive an email like this one welcome to the insider program and after you receive that email you are ready to go now a couple of steps i will show you here what's happened So now when everything is ready and you restart your PC, you are coming back again to this Windows Insider program, tap and you will receive that message, beta channel recommended, ideal for early adopters, we are in beta channel and that's why we don't receive Windows 11 update and here guys if you select dev channel you will receive the first build of Windows 11, I will not do this and here comes the important part. Remember, if you select dev channel, you will receive Windows 11 update, but guys, you can't revert back from dev channel to beta channel or release preview channel. The only way to go back is to make a clean install of your Windows computer. I will wait for beta channel Windows 11 to came for my computer because I don't want to reinstall the Windows on my PC if it's not stable or I don't like to receive everyday updates. If you want to be an early adopter and you can risk your PC, just select dev channel, go back, Windows update, check for updates and your Windows 11 update will be here and you can update to Windows 11. That was the video how you can install the early preview of Windows 11 on your PC. If you like this video and if this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.